Less than a week away, Halloween is practically here. And to get you into the spirit, we thought we'd give you some nightmare material by showing you some terrifying reports from Halloween in the 1980s. Keep watching if you dare. Caught up with Richard Crow and his gang of ghost hunters as they filed into their last stop on the terrifying tour. Ah! Are there any ghosts at the Red Lion Pub? Yipes, there's one. No, it's just a painting. What's this? A monster from beyond? No, just a sculpture. All right, Richard Crow, what are you up to? We're wrapping up a five-hour tour right now, Rick, and tonight we've already seen the location where John Dillinger was shot down, which is haunted, the site of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. We've done the Resurrection Triangle in search of Resurrection Mary. We were out looking for the Maple Lake Ghost Light uh, in the southwest suburbs. So we were all over the Chicagoland area. Now we're wrapping up here in a genuine haunted British pub. While some of his Ghostbusters chowed down, others talked about this tour. It's a lot of fun. I mean, you go around Chicago, see a lot of sites that you don't know during the night and uh, it's interesting he's a great storyteller he keeps you entertained the whole time and then it's right like in right here. in here it's, right in here. it's, right it's like it's here. like moving it's along stronger right here yeah so, uh, like it moves back and forth yeah. and in between here a ghost who will ever know downstairs normal people drank in blissful ignorance and crow ever searching took me for a walk come on rick let's go get the ghost of john dillinger <laughs> Probably the best known of Chicago area ghosts is Resurrection Mary. She periodically appears along Archer Avenue here at Resurrection Cemetery in Southwest Suburban Justice. To get a more detailed look at the legend of Resurrection Mary, I visited the cemetery with a guy who bills himself as a real life ghost hunter, Dale Kazmarek. When he's not looking for ectoplasm, he works at a warehouse loading frozen food on the graveyard shift. The Resurrection Mary apparitions began back in the 30s after a young woman was killed by a hit-and-run driver on Archer Avenue. So the stories say, there are numerous tales of a woman in a white robe baffling motorists. Dale Kazmarek says she even bent the cemetery gate. And these two bars here were discovered bent apart and impressions of skin texture marks, fingerprints, and scorch marks were on the bars. This was reported back in August of 1976 by a man who was traveling down Archer Avenue saw a girl apparently locked in the cemetery after hours. When the police officer responded to the call, he found the bars pulled apart and bent at a very weird angle. Dale Kazmarek yeah, is like president of a group like called the Ghost I'm Research down. Society. Some of his research concerns purported okay, ghost photos. This, this photograph here was taken of a woman and her child in front of their house they had recently moved into. And what's interesting behind this is the two apparitions that appeared in the doorway, the one on the left being of an older woman and the one on the right of almost like a dog. Yeah. This is a photograph taken at a Jewish cemetery of this gravestone here. Uh -huh. What shows up interesting is this cloud-like image through here. Apparently there's two people, uh, one of a girl in this area and one of a boy. You can see their arms sort of coming down this way. Uh, couldn't this just be a double exposure? Not with SX-70 film. He also conducts tours of ghostly sites for 20 bucks a customer. He showed me one of the tour stops, 95th and Keene, on the edge of Palos Hills. Animal ghosts, he says, show up here. Phantom horses and riders. Uh, there's many reports of um, all types of ghostly animals all around the Chicagoland area. Phantom horses, phantom dogs. And there was actually re substantiated reports in recent years of a rash of phantom kangaroos. Well, whether you believe in ghosts or not, uh, if there are going to be any ghosts around, this would be the night they would be out there. Like the guy in the song says, I ain't afraid of no ghosts, but I'm going to get out of these spooky old woods anyway. On the far south side, this is Bob Wallace, ghost hunting for Channel 2 News. Hey, wait a minute, don't look now, but those leaves behind me are moving. <laughs>